Hey, dudes. Some of you may remember this lawnmower here. This is one of the first ones I ever fixed. Well, it's it's been giving me a lot of problems, and I'm about. I think I should just go ahead and do an engine swap. Um, in my, one of my last videos, I picked up two lawnmowers in the trash. This is the engine from one of them. The deck couldn't really couldn't be saved. So I'm going to try to put this modern Briggs on this deck here. And this was is a was a Murray deck, and that's what becomes the engine. This was off of a a, um, a Murray, um, uh, but the uh, deck was. I think a Husqvarna deck or something like that. So hopefully the shafts will be uh, will be okay as far as the length goes. I just measured the shafts as far as the length goes. They're both uh, two and one eighth or thereabouts. So, and when I say shaft length, I'm talking the length from here to here. That's the, and they're the, they're about the same size, if not they're within one eighth, of, one eighth of an inch, so it should be okay. The problem with this old Tecumseh is this, um, this it's been giving me a lot of problems, um, and the, uh, the carburetor just leaks, uh, even after I rebuilt it, so, although it does run. I recently had to put a, a new pull cord in it, because I ripped it out. Um, so let's go for a ride and how to change, swap a lawnmower engine. Okay, I'm gonna try to let's get this off. Now there should be um, half-inch bolts, but let's first take off the blade. Uh, always unplug the spark plug before doing this. Oh, I don't think this would start. It's a uh, what size is that? It's a nine sixteenth. Blade comes off here, and uh, now we've got these three bolts that I'm gonna clean off first, so I can get a bolt, uh, a uh, half-inch uh, socket around it. Mistaken. The engine bolts are nine sixteenths. That must be on Briggs that they're half-inch. Whatever. Now what I'm gonna do is I sprayed them down with some uh, penetrating oil. I'm going to try to get them to come loose and, oh, that, that, and not break them. That was, that's not that bad. Not bad at all. And now I'm going to support it by holding it. And off comes the engine. Okay. Okay, you got that off. Now, next thing you need to do. So, it's possible that this the brake cable will still fit will fit the new mower, the new engine. So, let's um
remove the cable. Just uh, these two little tangs here. You just uh, take some needle nose pliers and squeeze them, and this should be just uh, push in, and then there you go. Hopefully, this this cable will fit. If not, I could probably make one. <laughs> I mean, I have one that might fit. You know, I have one, one person. Now the you got to put the new engine on the the holes will line up. At least they better. Uh, and then uh, we'll bolt the deck back on. Pull it back onto the deck. So, get the engine here. It does not have any fuel. Now, get the orientation we need to be. Now these are the bolts that came off the original to it. So, just gonna use those just to get them started. Start them by hand. If you have any issues, you can always put a little penetrating oil in them. Some people may use anti-seize. Yeah. Okay. Really should be using doing this by hand without an impact, but. As you do not want to strip these. You start them by hand, and you can use switch to an impact. find myself using my impact more nowadays. <sighs> okay, that should be tight enough. Now let's go blade shopping. Let me see if I can find the blade that was on this. Uh, on yeah. the end. This is the blade, I found the blade that was on it. This is it. This is a universal blade. Uh, it's been, um, it's got the specialized washer. This is what was on it. I know this blade isn't exactly really good. I mean, isn't, uh, may not be balanced exactly, but let's see how it is. Um, so this is a 20 inch deck, so this is a 20 inch blade. Um, I don't, this may be the only blade I have that would fit it actually, because I, um, the other 20 inch blade is for an MTD only. So, as they say, make sure you get the right side. This side says grass, so it goes like this. So you do that. And then you just screw it down. Bolt it down. Now I got the blade on. Let's go see about uh, see if the cables match up. <sighs> and the cables do not match up. Let me go get the because uh, the it's, this one's too long. So let me go swap them out. Okay. Got the uh, original cable that came that was for this. It still works um, here, and it looks like it will be the right one. You see up there? That's where you put it.
installed it. Let's bring the cable up here on the side in there. And let's put this one of these holes. Well, it just you put it in. Okay, I've worked on the cable. I had to use this pool clamp to hold this down because um, it wouldn't stay in the hole. The hole actually the hole's right here, but it was in the wrong place. The previous cable that was on here was in this same hole. Uh, so I, it's when I had drilled and it wouldn't want to stay in. I'd do this and it pop out. So use this pool clamp. Let's do that, and then I zip tied it, and I'm gonna put some gas in it, and, and uh, let's see how let's see if this thing how it works. Okay, got the engine back on the deck. Cause everything should be fine. Oh, uh, let's go see if this thing runs. Uh, it may shake a little bit because the blade's probably out of balance. Um, maybe I can go find one <laughs> uh, somewhere, or I can go. Go balance that one. This will be the final look at this uh, engine swap. Uh, Replace the uh, Tecumseh engine that was giving me problems with this uh, Briggs 300D series that I had gotten off of a, a, a trash pick lawnmower that runs, but the deck was whacked. Um, I, you, you saw me uh, put this on the stack. Uh, the, uh, one of the bad things that happened is that the uh, bail bar, this, very, this, bar, this bar broke. Um, and on, this is this uh, yellow one's the only one I had that, that would fit as far as um, from left to right, left, uh, or right to left, depending on your vantage point, that would fit. But I couldn't get. Uh, get the, uh, the brake cable to work. So I had this top part of these handlebars from uh, another mower. I don't know where, which one it was, so, but I, I had it. I, um, I, I screwed, put it on, and then I um, drilled out these holes here to put this bail up in. And now this, uh, it's per it fits perfectly. And I did have to put a pull clamp here to keep this, uh, this in here. So I'm gonna give you a start here. Um, this was a trash pick lawnmower, a trash pick engine that was put, that was on a lawnmower that I took off another deck that was whacked and put it on this deck. They both were Murray decks. They were both were 20 inch decks. Um, so here, let me go get my uh, third Hands hand in place. This is a primer style. So uh, three primes for a good time. I did balance the blade. I had to take off a lot of material on the blade. I'm not going to go buy another one, although I can. Um, this is not one I'm selling. This one, um, just this is going back to my mom's house. Later, tubes.